Five Guys Mukbang. Let's do this. Okay, so today I finally have, damn, I finally have Five Guys. I'm gonna be honest, man. I was shocked when I walked in that restaurant. Holy crap, this menu was not cheap. The burger yet alone, 11 euros. The fries, five, but a lot of fries, like a lot. And I got a drink, but I don't know where my straw is. <sighs> Shit, man, I think we should just begin. I mean, look at that. That is a juicy burger. Wow. Let's eat this, man. Hey, right, let's do this. Bon appetit. Mmm. -hmm. That is delicious. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, that, that is a good burger. Holy crap. Mm. But is it worth 11 euros? Mm. I mean, the burger yet alone. I don't know how it works in the USA. I'm not sure how much you guys pay for a burger in America. Jesus, that's a lot of fries. <laughs> but. Not cheap for burger, man. Being very honest, man. Not cheap, but it's good. Mmm. And we got a sponsor, by the way. Can't forget about that. A huge thanks to Mark for sponsoring today's mukbang video. So what I want to show you now is uh, a pop, a thing called pop oats. Which is basically oats that pop in your mouth, which I will show you right now. All the flavors will be on this paper here. See, you gave me eight samples in total. I'll show you all the package. So, let's see which one is it. Okay, so this is the naked oats. We got naked oats. We have the first flavor, which is wild white cheddar. You can all get these products. In the link in the description down below flavor 2 if you want to purchase some as well trust me man these are good these are not bad at all dude these are very good flavor 5 now these are samples I'm not sure if this is the end product what it looks like but these are like I said they've given me samples so I'm assuming this is not what the actual product looks like but let's eat further man so huge thanks to Mark for sponsoring today's video man I really appreciate it I mean Mm. Jesus. Oh, holy crap. Now that is a very good burger. I am not even gonna lie, man. That is an actual really good burger. And the fries. Now, they didn't have hot dogs, believe it or not. It was really strange. I'm like, wow. I was gonna go there also to get a hot dog, but no. They didn't have a hot dog. I'm like, what? Which is, I find ridiculous. How can you not have hot dogs? That's bad, man. That's bad. Whoever owns that store there, it's not good. Mmm. Mmm. But it's delicious. Finally, the first time ever eating five guys. And I'm very, very happy with the food. And when I got there, it wasn't busy at all. No. And I think it's got to do with the fact that the prices are very high. But I mean, hey. It's a really good burger. I cannot complain. It's, it's really good. It's, I know it's a normal piece of bread, but the rest is, it's, it's, it's real. The patty isn't fake. It's actually real. Mm. Mm. It's crispy bacon as well. God damn. Mm. No lie, man. American people, I'm grateful that you are alive. Without the Americans, man, we possibly wouldn't have had Five Guys, McDonald's, you know, everything. The f weird thing is though, Five Guys is actually not very big here. I'm not sure if it's recently started or opened up. 
but it's not really big. I don't you don't see ever commercials on TV here about Five Guys. Never, and it's it's strange. I'm not sure, like I said, if they are new. I mean, you know, price-wise, this is more sort of the food. I mean, I know that we are being charged a lot for this. And I bet that in America, this meal would probably not even cost you, I'm guessing, 15 bucks. I mean, the burger alone, like I said, 11 euros. The fries were five. The drink was three. That's 20 bucks right there, dude. Like, I know it's a foreign thing. But I'm definitely not complaining, man. The taste is... It's the best burger I've had. Probably, without a doubt, the best burger I've had in my life. It's actually good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Fast food burger, then, I mean. I'm not talking about a normal... No. I mean, just look at it. Come on. Delicious, man. Honestly, very happy. Although, some critics, the menu was rather small, although it was really difficult for me to choose. Maybe that's a very small marketing, because you know McDonald's has like a big menu, and it's really easy to choose, but with a smaller menu, I feel like you get forced to choose wisely. It sounds weird, I know. But I was standing there for like three, four minutes like, shit, man, I don't know what I want to get. Honestly, man, I give this a, 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 a 8.5. The texture, the juiciness, I love. You know, you, know, you know it's a good burger when it's got juiciness. I mean, when it's juicy, a burger, that means it's real. Hold for dumb as I said, it's delicious. Sorry. Um, yeah. Oh, there you go. Didn't even see that. Look at that. The fries are work of art. Mm, that's true. Hashtag one burger for lunch in New York. Mm. But they made it actually pretty fast as well. Um, nah, it took 10 minutes. Yeah, it wasn't that fast, but it was really nice. Floating best burger around Boston. This has got to be a good product in America. Because like I said, guys, it's not really popping here. Not yet. Maybe it's not going to be popping. But it's not bigger, like I said. It's actually, it's it's kind of sad, yet it's very disappointing to see so much like food restaurants in America not seeing them here in Europe. It's 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 a shame because I'd love to try Wendy's and that. I mean, look, don't get me wrong, man. I really wouldn't mind going to America just to make mock and ASMR videos. But that's time-wise, you know. I got school, so I can't. And I'm scared. I don't want to go on my own, man. Like, I don't know America. Wow. It's, it's, I'm, I'm actually really happy with this. I'm not even going to lie. It's good, man. It's really good. But yeah, so if you're wondering, like, why I didn't get so much, they, they, don't, they don't have a lot on the menu here. Really, it's a... I don't know how you say it. It's not the biggest menu. Mm. There you have it, man. Real beef. Wow. And this was a customizable one. So you can customize your burger, which is awesome. I find it really cool. Wow. I'm impressed. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I'm impressed with this, man. Just had to go to all to run it down for this. It's just quite far from where I live. Nah, two hours in total. I'm going back and forth. Yeah, quite far though, but yeah. Mm. Christ, I know some people dip their fries in a drink. I don't do that. Mm. Mm mm mm. Like a food orgasm. I'm actually enjoying this burger. It's crazy. Mm. The fries are really nice as well. Just everything's good. 
Except, no marketing on that, which is kind of weird. The bag that they gave me didn't stand, didn't stand five guys on it, which I'm like, I mean, you see McDonald's and KFC and Burger King, they've all got their own bags with like their logos on it. And I'm surprised that five guys doesn't. Uh, let me show you what I mean. It's really strange. I mean, this is the bag. This is the bag. This is literally it. There's nothing outside. Yeah, it's really strange though, that there's nothing on the bag. I don't get it actually. But oh, they don't show. They don't show me how much of it. Really? That's weird. They don't show me how much I paid. Oh well, that's not really real then. That's the reddish. Mm. Mm. And the cheese is good. The cheese is really nice, man. Mm. Christ. Mm. 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 But I saw everything getting fresh to me. I'm like, yeah, I don't mind spending 35 bucks. If you're wondering what I mean with 35 bucks, I, I ordered another patty burger for tomorrow. Because tomorrow I'll be making an ASMR eating five guys video. And um, yesterday on the ASMR channel, I posted an ASMR flight attendant roleplay. You gotta check it out, man. It's really cool. I made that video at 5 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, I don't know why. I wish I could let you taste man, because there's nothing to compare. McDonald's has nothing against these. Mm. I'm very happy, man. Cry. I am really super happy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. That's crazy. That was an amazing burger. That was... Without a doubt, one of the best fast food burgers that I've possibly ever had. Even better than Burger King. Being actually honest with you, much better. I mean, look. No, oh, that's nothing, man. You know, if you've never been to Five Guys, I mean, this is the first time that I'm eating Five Guys. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a nine for me. Everything is good. Although saying that, it's not really fair to say everything is good since... You know, I know not everyone who works at Five Guys makes a burger as good as a advertiser, which I obviously get. But I'm assuming that the people they hire are qualified chefs, I think you can call them? I don't know. They have to be qualified, though. Because that, the guy who made that petty? Outstanding. So you're probably wondering whether these fast food, you know, like five guys have. So we've got one in Rotterdam. Uh, Central Station, we have one. Central Station of, of Rotterdam. It's literally like two, three minutes walking. So it's uh, it's by the bike off. Then you've got also one in Den Haag, which is with the metro. No, with the, yeah, with the metro, it's like 35, 40 minutes extra, I believe. And then you've also got one on Capella and the ISO. The one in Capella I went to, it was busy, man, today. Then there's also what the pizza in tocht. And I bought some new shoes as well. I think I was, yeah, I'll show you just now. So I actually found these these Nike Air Jordan mid one high. And like the orange one. I'm like, man, they're fire, man. I, mean, I was like, I don't really care about how the shoe looks. It's the comfiness that's important to me. So I step, I put my foot in, you know, like in the shoe. Like that shit is really not comfortable. There's something about Nike. Maybe maybe I choose the wrong ones. I don't know. But Nike is a very uncomfortable shoe. I don't know what it is. It's not quality wise. Quality wise is decent, but I feel like the stuff that they put on the layers of the shoe is is crap. It's really cheap stuff, and it's crazy what they charge you in stores for like a Nike shoe. Like my, I am never in my life gonna pay two two fifty for a Nike shoe. For a hundred dollars more, I can buy Dolce and Gabbana's. I know what you're saying, but that's a luxurious brand. I know you can't really compare, but price-wise, 
for a hundred dollars, I would buy the Dolce and Cabanas. Why? Because they're quality, handmade as well. Some parts, not the whole shoes handmade, but part of it is handmade as well. It's made by people that are highly trained for that, and it's quality. I'm not saying that Nike ain't quality. Hey, trust me. Look, Nike is very good, but I feel like they they charge you a lot more money than the shoes actually worth, in my opinion. I'm being very honest with you, because I saw what the what the cost was a couple of months ago of Jordan One Mid High, fifteen bucks, maybe even less to make it. I'm like, <sighs> but then I know transport, the people that buy the shoe, and that all adds up eventually to a in total, and that's what you pay for the shoe with everything shipping included, the whole thing details. You know, I get that obviously. That's the whole. That's you pay for everything. You don't actually. You never pay for a shoe or a product, you pay for everything that's gone into making a product. That's what you actually pay for at the end. You pay for everything that's been used for the shoe to be made with. And then eventually you pay for the shoe. You get what I kind of mean, you know? So I thought, ah, you know what, screw it, let's put them on. Very uncomfortable, like I said. It just... I actually got Jordan's here. But this is strange. This is literally the same. But these are way comfortable. I don't even have sores. These are the Jordan Supreme 5, I think. 5S, I think. So, no, Jordan Supreme 1. These are actually very comfortable. Although they've got the same thickness as the one in the store. These, for some reason, are way more comfortable. Maybe because they... Oh, that's it. They got air in it. At the... Yeah. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's that's not really fair. The one's got a rubber sole and this one's got an air one. Okay, that doesn't make sense. Um, but now a really really nice shoe is like damn this is such a nice shoe man like I mean I'm a huge fan of Jordan man especially the Nike Air Jordans like the dope ones because lately in my opinion Jordan has has been releasing crap like really bad ugly ass shoes I, I'm a huge fan of Jordans um, I actually got the Jordans West Wing which believe it or not are actually worth 500 bucks at the moment and I, my mom bought them for $280 and in my size, I've seen some go for 500 And also, I've seen one of the same go for 1400 bucks. I'm like, y'all be taxing. Like, StockX and that, never, don't buy from StockX or uh, Flight Club. Because they, especially StockX, they be taxing, man. Like, they, I've bought from StockX before. They tax your ass really bad. Like, the Yeezy that I bought, man, I was pissed off. I had to pay $250 tax. I'm like, wait, so you're letting, you're charging me. 250 already for the shoe plus 200 tax my guy really Trust me Yeezys are very comfortable, but it's at the end of the day. It's also just a hype because Kanye West has made them It's Kanye West's thing those wouldn't be if I think if Kanye West wouldn't have made the Yeezys They'd probably go for normal price like a Nike shoe like 120 150 dollars. I mean, let's keep it real honestly Yeezys are are, are hype just like every other hype beast brand like supreme i used to like supreme i still do like supreme i don't wear supreme often because it feels it does at the end of the day feel different wearing supreme now than it used to be because now you see everyone rocking supreme I'm like god damn man and supreme in my opinion has gotten very expensive being very honest i am not even gonna lie about that i find supreme really expensive at the moment Especially the box logos. The box logos, logos are at are crazy ridiculous priced. Thirteen hundred dollar for Swarovski box logo, like insane. That's someone. That that that's a monthly mortgage. I'm like whew, fucking crazy. It's it's stupid, man. Like, yeah, I have some Supreme items, and I I only wear them when I want to. I don't wear them because I feel like you know because everyone else has them around me. To show off with no I actually like it I have a, with a very simple outfit for example my Supremes my like the Supreme shirt I normally wear with these and I wear my Timberlands or my sketches it's like a basic simple cool drippy outfit sort of and I just in the budget but yeah no but being very very honest man like Supreme is a cool brand don't get me wrong but they're making kind of bullshit products now I mean I've seen things come by as as a supreme scale, I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You're telling me that people are buying supreme scales, supreme boxing gloves, supreme s burner phones. That's pretty sad that people actually even buy those things because it says supreme on it. It's that's, I mean, that's, that's pathetic, dude. Like, 
I mean, it's a smart move to Supreme, because Supreme knows people that buy their stuff are stupid. Let's that's, that's face it, let's be honest. People that buy their stuff are dumb. They think it's cool to have it because it's a Supreme. I mean, I'm, look, like I said, I own Supreme. I love it. I love the shirts that I got. But I'm not buying no Supreme. I haven't I haven't bought anything from Supreme for over a year already because it's just like, so expensive. It's not that I can't afford it. I just choose not to buy it because of the hype. And I don't want to get scanned over a shirt that I have to pay double the price for what the original price is, what they're asking for, you know? Like, it's not worth it, you know? Just give my money better. Um, but yeah, that's just my opinion. Um, yeah, that's kind of it. Supreme is... Look. High beast culture. Y'all gonna, gonna be mad at me, but... Let me talk about the dumbest brand. <laughs> in my opinion. In my opinion, Off-White. Off-White is probably, in my opinion, one of the, the stupidest things I've ever seen in, 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 in sneaker or clothing culture. Like off white is really the most boring brand that I've that I've seen. Like literally, off white is super boring in my opinion. I mean, you're basically buying a, a basic white tee that probably gets made in China. I don't know where off white is made, but I'm assuming it's just like Nike, China, Indonesia, Vietnam, Kenya. Off white is also expensive. Like I saw off white shirt like a Simpsons four hundred and twenty dollars, and like. My man, it, nobody knows if that's going to be off-white. Only hypees know that it's off-white. And that's the crazy thing, man. We get tricked nowadays into thinking that because a price is so high that it's that it's quality. It's often the fact that something that is expensive from like a, a hypees culture, it's, it's, it's freaking terrible quality. It's all made in a rush for profits. It's got nothing to do with quality. It's all money, money, money. Quality has nothing to do with it. And that's why I prefer Dolce & Cabana. Because when I pay, I know that I'm paying for quality and craftsmanship. And I know that because I have been following Dolce & Gabbana for many months on Instagram. And they actually show that their stuff is handmade. A lot of the stuff is like Gucci, also handmade. Now there's a whole thing behind Dolce & Gabbana. And you're not just paying for the brand, you're paying also for quality, like top quality. And that's why I love and prefer Dolce & Gabbana over any brand at the moment. Because when I pay for something, I know I'm going to get quality. Quality, quality. Not some crap ass shirt, like the shirts, which, well, you know, the shirts are, some shirts are really expensive, like being very honest, like I've seen some Dolce Gabbana shirts for like $800, I'm like, no, mm -mm. but that's the thing with Dolce & Gabbana shirts, it's printed, so you don't know, nobody would recognize that it's called Dolce Gabbana, it's because it's a, it's a own unique form of style that they have, it's, Dolce Gabbana is very unique with, with its own clothing line. It's not like Christian Dior and the other stuff. It's very, I don't know how to say, I don't want to say hidden, but it's very, it's different than other brands, if you get what I mean. It's it's very different with the designs. The designs are really cool, man. Being honest, I don't like all the stuff of Dolce Cabana, but a lot of the stuff I really like. I don't buy them, but I like it. It looks cool. But yeah, that's really my opinion, man. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, the shoes don't really matter. I, I bought some Puma shoes, by the way. Really cool. I think they will match really also with these camouflage pens. But, hey, enough said, man. A huge thank yet again, man. Honestly, appreciate it so much from Mark for giving me these samples. I really appreciate them, man. If you want to get yourself some, there's the link in the description. You can click on the link and uh, definitely try this out, man. Like I said, flavor one is wild white cheddar. Flavor two, big screen butter. Three is swell salted caramel. Flavor four is pepper and sea salt. Flavor five is barbecue sweetness. Flavor six, chill out chili lime. And flavor seven, malty, salty, and vinegar. So definitely a huge thanks to Mark yet again, man, for the really cool products that he gave me. I really appreciate it, man. It went very, very well. This is actually the first time, without a doubt, the most professional business thing that I've done yet. <laughs> And I'm very glad that I was able to be sponsored. So if you want to check it, check it out, man. Definitely go get yourself some because these are really good. Although these are closed, I've already opened one. Because you know when you open them, they only last for four weeks if you if you reseal them. So I don't want to break them. So yeah, definitely go check it out. Link will be in the description for the website. And uh, yet again, thank you so much, Mark, for sponsoring this video and tomorrow's video, which is awesome. But anyways, guys, 25 minutes. 
That's crazy, yeah. I'm gonna end this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I do... Well, I can't really do anything about it that five guys were out of hot dogs because I was really wanting a hot dog. But it's alright. Uh, maybe next time, you know. Uh, definitely, uh... Yeah, I'll just see you two next time. You know, you ain't gotta do nothing. No? Yeah, I'll see you next time.